What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about the Exorcist Believer mostly in this video here today. Going over a interview from David Gordon Green uh, from Empire Magazine that he had released right around the time the trailer dropped that I completely overlooked that shared some new details about the plot, teasing things about Ann Doubt's character, confirming that the demon isn't Pazuzu as the trailer leads us to think. And lastly, I'll be touching on the recent test screening that happened for the Exorcist Believer this month in not not this month but in july and going over the fact that linda blair still appeared as reagan in this cut so it would all but seem that she's going to appear in the cut that we get released to the public in october so on the topic of Anne and doubt's character he said that she's brought in for a medical perspective well i mean we see she's a nurse in the trailer so that checks out he continues that we find out there's more to her character she's not just your everyday next door neighbor intriguing but is she friend or foe now i will say this with this kind of comment from green i immediately started thinking back to the notes that i already have about the plot and the things that i was told and i'm like okay green just keeps slowly but surely confirming these story details that i've been told and i'll say this about Anne for you guys listening if you watch the trailer she's holding a cross during the final moments so make of that what you will but i think it is clear what she's doing and i think it speaks for for itself if you dissect the trailer well enough i'm not going to tell you what her secret role is because there's a lot of stuff you're going to learn about her when the movie drops in october depending on how it's executed Anne's character is just another reason chris's inclusion to me it seems very forced at the moment execution is everything but until i see how it's executed that's how it feels when you learn what you learn about Anne's character you'll be on the same page as me depending on how it's executed so green also had this to say about the demon much as pazuzu could torture father karis with the guilt and regret and emotions that his relationship with his mother brought we have our demon that is speaking to chris in a way that can frustrate and horrify the mother of reagan 50 years after a traumatic incident so it's not pazuzu so why does chris say we've met before have to wait and find that out for myself too to get clarity because even i'm lost there green also had these comments about reagan's name being carved in the wood by the demon saying it's trying to pull chris into our scenario she's a woman that wants to put the past behind her she's written a book and done her research in the aftermath of the events of georgetown in 73 1973 she's put it behind her and leave it up to the insights and evil of a demon to be able to try and reinflict these wounds reinfect these wounds you know for someone who wants to put it all behind her she seems very eager to just jump into the mix of it all <laughs> now again i get that chris can be useful as emotional support i do understand that this is just where more problems lie for me because i hope this is executed well enough for me to say okay this movie is passable at best at best but chris has studied exorcisms for 50 years or so has first hand experience of how demons can be tricksters but these new cheap tactics from this current demon messing with these girls are enough to perhaps make her do dumb things like i don't know <laughs> go into the bedroom as we see in the trailer and confront this demon like i again i again i i promise you <laughs> i get that chris is believable as an expert for emotional support since victor is going through a crisis of faith like harris and similar to her even as an atheist in that original film but chris as stated by green has never performed an actual exorcism and she still has not done such a thing so with all of this research and experience in backhand slaps that can shatter your spine why is she still possibly falling for the tricks of this new demon like i've said chris's handling isn't going to sit well with many people so strap in folks that's all i will say when you see how she is written in comparison to what you learn about other characters you might all have the same headspace as me if we all end up coming out of the exorcist believer thinking you know what that was pretty bad <laughs> but there was another test screening that happened last week according to viewer non and from what i've gathered they allegedly haven't changed much and linda blair still made an appearance as reagan so reagan's return is locked in as far as i'm concerned if she's still appearing in a cut that's been screened in july and the film is dropping in october again it's a very small role and likely to exist to set up the two sequels that we're getting which the deceiver is coming out in 2025 but it's also something that can be scrapped if necessary because to me that's how unnecessary the appearance is i'm not going to tell you the context of how she appears but people are still saying she appeared that have just watched the film in july because coming out of one of the earlier test screenings her appearance was one of the positives so them cutting it seemed very unlikely so come october 
do expect to see Linda Blair back as Reagan. If you don't see her, that means they cut it. But countless people who have already seen the movie, they're saying the same exact thing. Different people all saying the same exact thing about how Reagan has appeared. Reagan, Linda Blair, she's back. They brought her back. It was a very unnecessary return as far as I'm concerned, done to set up sequels, but she could have existed in these sequels without appearing in this one. That's all I'm saying. You'll understand it when you get the context of it when the movie drops in October. Also, recently over on my Twitter page, I did put out that a upcoming supernatural horror film is having a test screening later this week on August 10th. Now, big screen leaks and viewer non both chimed in to kind of fill in some gaps. One, I thought it was going to be Salem's Lot or The Nun 2 or The Exodus Believer. Big screen leaks is confident it's not Salem's Lot because that movie is already finished and not needing to test anymore. Although, the Nun 2 was a possibility until Viewer Non chimed in to let me know that it's taking place in an area where they usually screen David Gordon Green films. So I'm certain it's The Exorcist Believer. So you have another test screening happening on August 10th for The Exorcist Believer, it would appear. And those of you who attended, reach out to me, continue to tell me what you know. I don't care. <laughs> but as far as one other thing I want to talk about is why I'm concerned about Chris's role. Ellen Burstyn, if you remember back in 2022, did tell the Hollywood Reporter why she actually did agree to return after initially rejecting to appear in any new entries of the Exorcist franchise. She said, you know, what happened was I've turned down many versions of the Exorcist too. I've said no every time. This time they offered me a whole bunch of money and I still said no. And then they surprised me and they came back and said, we've doubled the offer. I said, okay, let me think about this. I thought that's a lot of money. Let me think about it. The next thought that came to mind was I feel like the devil is ankling or asking my price and the next thought that came to mind was my price is a scholarship program for talented students at our master's degree program at pace university that's my price so then i went back and up there up there up and ended up getting what i want and i've got a scholarship program for young actors now as much as her heart is in the right place notice how it has nothing to do with how her character is written from what she's saying anyway because she had she had nothing positive to say about how the story was story was written now of course maybe she didn't know how they were using chris at the time but i'm i'm starting to think that she also said no initially because of the fact that she didn't like how chris was being used so lining up with what i now know i i, I really am not confident in how chris will be portrayed i'm confident ellen will deliver but overall handling of chris no you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.